Hello, Sagittarius. How are you all doing? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Deep Soul Tarot. We are going to be doing your monthly love reading. Uh, it's love, connections, relationships, whatever situation you may be in. If you're not even thinking of someone in particular, maybe this is an idea of someone that you might want in your life or you're looking for. Um, this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general read, so it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does resonate, if it doesn't resonate, excuse me, you may want to check the other placements in your chart, and sometimes those resonate more. And if this does resonate, or even just parts of it resonate, you may still want to check the other placements in your chart for further information on your specific case. This is a um, specific situation, I should say. This is a um, timeless read. So although I am doing this in June 2023 and um, basing it on June 2023, um, whenever you come across it uh, and you decide to click on it, there may very well be a message in there for you. So it doesn't matter when I do the message. Spirit may feel like you need that message that's in there. And for those of you that do watch this video, I highly, highly recommend uh, you watch the whole video, all, all the videos you ever watch. And if you can't watch my videos or someone else's videos, all the way through at that time then save it and watch the end at some other time or watch it through some other time because a lot of times the message that's meant for you comes towards the end the middle or the end and I think a lot of people miss messages myself included I don't do that though I will watch a um, a video all the way through if I can't do it if I get interrupted I can't do it at that time I'll save it and watch it later go back and watch it and many many times not all the time but many times there ends up being a message in there that some of them are pretty good that I would have missed Okay, so I'm just I'm just mentioning that to you. All right, let's get going. Let's get going here. The only other thing I am going to mention, Sagittarius, and we'll get your cards out, is there's no gender in Tarot. So if I'm mentioning your she in the video, it has nothing to do with your gender. It has to do with the energies of the cards. Okay, masculine and feminine energies of the card or cards, and um. These are for same-sex couples also. This is, everyone's welcome here and every situation uh, is welcome. So whatever, you know, you're thinking of, whatever your situation is, could easily apply. Okay? I just want to make that clear. Eventually in my videos, I will stop saying that probably, but I just want to make sure people who are watching know that. I suppose, to me, it's implied. I, you know, I don't feel like I really need to have to say it, but sometimes I wonder if people think, well, I wonder if this is for... You know, same sex or not. Anyways, so Sagittarius, what you manifest in here? Hmm? What you manifest? In? Ooh, Sagittarius. Damn, if I recall, you're, if you haven't seen your monthly read too, man, that one, I, I, you know, I usually delete. I have to because of the space on this. I have a Chromebook and there's only so much space on here. I have to delete the videos after I upload them and stuff. I delete them. Otherwise, it, I would never be able to do anything on here. And yours, I say it because it was so profound. Your monthly, it didn't have to do with love, but it was just a really powerful reading. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, you're manifesting something here. You are, wow. You know, they say the power of the mind, Sagittarius. You're taking it to a whole new level here. And we just had a full moon. And that could be, you know, it was a full moon in Sagittarius. So I'm thinking, Sagittarius, that this is, this is your month. This, like I said, I'm doing this June 2023. Now, um, for the rest of you who are watching it past June, um, you may be having a profound next 30 days as well. But you may want to watch that full moon reading also. I did a reading for the full moon, and there's other stuff that I did that you know before I did these. So um, I did a twin flame reading. But this is a the Wheel of Fortune. It's spinning. I mean, I feel like you're going to you're going to win the jackpot. So if you've met somebody, or you haven't met somebody, you're going to find someone that's going to be pretty. Oh, yeah, and you're going to celebrate. Oh, this is, oh, man. Okay, we're going to start this reading because I want to know what's going on. Y'all want to, you do the reading. I want to know what's going on. You tell me. <laughs> all right, Sagittarius, just kidding. Okay, well, well, what's this about? <laughs> you have all this good energy. You're trapped in your head. What's, what's going on? What are you thinking about? Okay, what I hear specifically, Sagittarius, with this card here, Okay. Oh, God. I heard something else. Um, it's not bad, bad, but I, for, the first thing I heard was 
you've met somebody incredible possibly or you're manifesting this in your head so maybe you haven't met this person yet maybe you're on as i said with the full moon i, I did that reading and the energies i did a reading before just without videotaping it just to get some energies beforehand and it was every message said that it was a portal for a lot of us for the collective so this could very well the full moon you know you might want to hang on there hang on there i uh, don't don't carry those negative thoughts sagittarius because if you're waiting to meet this person keep thinking about the kind of person you want uh if you don't know of anybody in particular yet but with this wheel of fortune card you can make it happen and this magician is the ultimate alchemist where they can take the simplest thing like water or you know whatever and and transform it into something so profoundly better than what they started with and as the card implicates this particular card is as above so below so the alchemist is dealing with some earthly items but also is very in touch with the spiritual side so the spiritual is holding that wand up in the air getting that universe that higher master's energy and then bringing it down here to the third dimension to earth and using that to his full advantage to transform whatever's going on with him right there and and the alchemist is not the magician is not afraid to spin this wheel because they know the more they spin they're going to win big at some point so the more chances you take sagittarius the more likely you're going to win and have reason to celebrate you could meet this person going out with friends or some sort of other celebration maybe a wedding or whatever you know they say people a lot of times meet people at weddings but you're, you're caught in your head for some reason but you're gonna to have to get rid of those thoughts because if you get caught in your head like this it clogs your heart chakra it clogs your third eye it clogs up all the energy in you so you're, you're overthinking something or you're thinking of trap when in this particular picture this person could easily they're loosely bound they could take off that they could walk through the swords and take off that blindfold and they can see perfectly clear all right all right now let's see your person who you may be thinking holy crap and moly sagittarius the sun now could you get any better than that now you could possibly be dealing with the leo that's possible it doesn't have to be this is a very pure love this person is energetic the epitome of a fire sign energetic a go-getter loves life a creative there's so many good things about it they're a positive thinker whoever this person is and i mean it does depend on what they have in their chart a lot of times but i just feel a very very good energy about this person so i'm not sure what you're we'll clarify that see what's going on your connection what see all right sagittarius the only thing i can think of you're going from the eight to the nine you need to have a little clarity here you're not seeing something for what it is and that's usually when i say that it's people are sugarcoating it and seeing things through rose colored glasses rose colored glasses what i'm hearing about you sagittarius i'm gonna tell you right now you just stop that you just stop it that if this is what you're doing if you think that this person is either out of your league or this person wouldn't want me or the, what is stressing you out about this connection the only thing i can think of is if you are in already in a relationship and this is somebody else and you feel trapped in the relationship you're with whether you're married or whatever it is <clears throat> so if you're in a relationship and you're feeling trapped not saying that you are trapped but you're feeling trapped it's time to to just examine that particular relationship but I, I, we'll, we'll go on and then we'll see what other energies we have here but that confuses me honestly so let's see any past energies maybe you're bringing past energies along with you the page of wands okay all right maybe um in the past if this is someone specific you're thinking of i mean maybe you're you're maybe you're just watching this person from afar but fire signs are usually pretty bold and going after what they want and pretty clever about it if they're not straightforward bold but usually they're straightforward to say whatever but if not you know usually pretty clever about maneuvering themselves over to get what they want or talk to someone the page of wands is 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 a messenger and either wanting to communicate with somebody or waiting for a message uh this could also be travel maybe this person isn't around you right now maybe they are in a different state or somewhere else 
But the Page of Wands, if you're waiting for them to call, um, I mean, do they know? Do you guys communicate? Sagittarius, we have to we have to talk here, <laughs> just because I'm not getting this. All right, possible future with this person. Okay, teamwork. This person's a team player. I'm not sure why you're stressing out. So maybe it's something to do with you personally or in your life. Maybe your family doesn't approve of this person, and I don't see why, but, you know, I don't know. Um, your, your possible future is bu you're building a strong foundation. That card is all about building a strong foundation. Now, individually, it can mean mastering yourself and building your own foundation in your house. But, you know, in your house, in yourself, in your life. Uh, I, I was thinking house. Um, maybe you're going to get a house together. Maybe you're, you want to live together and this person isn't, I don't know. All right. So this is the challenge card. So this is an important card. Ah, this is someone from your past. I get it now. You want someone from your past. Now, either this person has come back into your life and you're waiting for them to call you. Maybe they haven't yet. Give them time. Maybe they're not sure what they want to do yet. Best to not rush them. Because if they're actually thinking about it and not rushing forward, that's even better. Because they want to be sure that if they approach you or come to you and maybe say, you know, I still love you or I want to try it again, that they're making sure and they're not just rushing into it. That's a good thing. Maybe they've just recently got out of a relationship or were divorced and they've, they've constantly been thinking about you anyways, which happens. Um, or this could be an apology. Maybe they're coming to apologize or you need to apologize to them. Take it as it resonates. But <clears throat> all right, here we go. The action. Here we go, Scorpio, your action. Mm. You know what I hear? This person or someone from your past, I don't know which one, if it's this particular person, but someone probably in your past. It could be this person has broken your had broken your heart. Now maybe this person um, broke up with you, you separated apart, uh, maybe, you know, for whatever reason, for whatever reason somebody from your past broke your heart. But the action, the action for this card the, I know, you know, the, everyone sees this card and they say, oh, great, three, you know, three daggers through my heart. Yeah, it's something that hurts you pretty deeply. And it's something that was emotionally and mentally a taxing on you. This is not just, even though there's a heart in here, this is more about mental stress than actual heart. But what it's saying is, you know, go ahead and cry, have a good cry and whatever. But there, there needs to be some healing here. So, you know, the universe may be aware of this, but you need to do some sort of healing first before this can happen okay i'm just going to tell you sagittarius and you're going to know if you're a person in that situation you'll say yep and there's the moon could be a pisces you're dealing with now the moon to me how i see the moon many reasons there are many interpretations of the moon depending on the reading it is below the broken heart so i see it as a duality card because there's the sun and the moon two pillars two dogs one is a more passive one. One seems to be a little bit more. Now, that can go um, different ways. The moon itself means fear. Um, maybe not seeing things as clearly as you could. Uh, the sun is illuminating, but the moon here is is um, blocking some of the sun. So you may not see the situation for everything for what it is and so the advice here <clears throat> because this is the advice card I'm hearing there was either a dark period in this relationship before or a dark period for you before Scorpio where somebody broke your heart or somebody did you wrong and I don't think you're healed from it now this could be a whole this is someone in your past, but this is totally someone different, possibly. And although this person is, you, you want to be with this person, you think about this person, you're manifesting it, and you're trying to decide if you want to take a chance. But I don't think until you heal from this, 
it's a good thing. And it doesn't say, maybe, you know, you sit yourself down and say, okay, that's what happened in the past. If it was someone else, this isn't the same person. They may not do the same thing. I mean, I don't know the situation, only you do. But I'm feeling that you have what it takes to heal from this hurt and whatever, and then eventually go up and take that chance, spin that wheel. And I'm hearing very, very much that you may very well win. Um, let me see if I get more energies from the moon, and then we'll, we will, um, you know what I heard? You have a long road ahead, all right? So I think this is part of you. One part of you, the passive side is saying, <clears throat> I love this person, I have feelings for this person, I feel connected, whatever the case may be. I don't know how well you know this person, I don't know if you've dated this person. But then there's some sort of anger also. So, we're ha working on this anger, and if this isn't you, then it's the other person, but I think it's you, Scorpio. There are two sides to the situation. And with the moon card, I think you're only seeing a part of it. Let's clarify, because that might give us a better idea of what's going on, right? So I'm going to shuffle. These are already pre-shuffled. I'm going to shuffle once, and then I'll split the deck. So uh, if you want to pause the video, concentrate on the cards and think about your person or your situation. And again, it doesn't even mean that you're with somebody in particular. Maybe this person from your past is going to come back. Or you'd like to find somebody like someone from your past. You're trying to manifest that. Um, you know, this can go on many different... Oh, I said one time. Well, three times. <laughs> I usually shuffle three, at least three times before I start this recording. I shuffle it before and mix it, you know, and then clear the cards, the energy of the cards. But we're going to do your energy first here, Sagittarius. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Wait. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, if you want to click off now, I guess it might be a good time. <laughs> it's like... I'm having a fight with myself. Sorry, I just did Scorpios, and I was confused. I was like, wait, am I still a Scorpio? No, I'm a Sagittarius. Sorry. Uh, it's hard when you do readings in a row. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to work on this. You absolutely need to work on those negative thoughts or those thoughts that keep haunting you. I'm hearing those haunting thoughts that are making you feel... So basically, you, you are trapped. You are trapped in the past. You're trapped in those old thoughts and those old feelings but you're not actually physically trapped you're not actually trapped you're trapping yourself and it's time to just to work on it work on you know working through that um and if if this person is from the past they may be able to feel that energy absolutely walk away from those empty cups you know whatever hurt you had as bad as it could be it's like you were waiting for somebody now, I don't know, maybe you were waiting for that person, and maybe they took too long to come back, and now you don't know what to do, because I see this card as the person was waiting. They're waiting for their ship, and they waited They waited through all these cups a long time for this person, and although they still have emotion for them, feel emotional things for them, the ship passed. Our ship has passed. Maybe you thought your ship, the ship had passed, but now that this person, oh, there's the page of cups. Maybe they were immature in the past, and now they've matured. Um, and people do that. People can't do that. Um, maybe you thought this person was never going to contact you again. And then all of the blue, they come there to see you or they move back or they, they send you with... I mean, I've had that happen to me um, with somebody who, anyway, messaged me and I was very happy about that. But All right. Let's do... There's really no reason for me to do the sun. I'm going to do the nine of swords. What is the Nine of Swords, the connection? What's going on here? What can you tell our Sagittarius about? I'm so sorry. There we go. Queen of Wands. All right. Your connection. You're worried about the connection. Sagittarius, you're a fire sign. This is a fire sign card. Well, dang it all the heck. I almost said something else, but it starts with an M and an F. And, you know, that kind of thing. I'm trying to keep it clean for YouTube. YouTube doesn't like when you curse. And it's hard for me because I kind of have a mouth like a sailor. So if, I, if it wasn't for YouTube, I'd probably be saying it right out. Um, uh, anyways, the Queen of Wands is, is um, a powerful feminine energy. Very powerful. And what this card is saying, 
Sagittarius. Now again, this could be, you could be dealing with an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Um, now you have the page and the queen so far. Step back into your power. Whatever this is, this and this, and this word over here, it's taken a part of you. You've almost lost that passion. You've, even for other things besides love. And it's affecting everything else in your life. And um, you either are wanting love again, or your person has come back, someone from your past. Maybe you're just thinking about a past love and, and hoping that they'll come back to you, which is fine. But you need to get rid of this eight and nine of swords energy in order for that to happen because that's blocking it. So you may want to work on that and, and use this Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is like the diva. She likes the best of everything. She is so powerful and so charismatic and energetic and did I say charismatic and attractive also that she barely has to lift a finger to do anything. She has people do it for her and she likes that. She likes being spoiled and having people do things for her. She feels that I deserve all the good things in life. Why not? I'm the queen. I am the queen. I have, I worked hard to get here in my kingdom too. There's this, there's a the sun back there. She's happy with what she's done and what she's accomplished. And, um, sure. She'll put her finger in if she needs to do some work here and there, but usually she doesn't have to because she's constructed her life in a way that she has people around her who are attracted to her energy so much that they just do it for her. And so what I'm hearing here, Sagittarius, is I'm hearing this is you. But this energy is, is kind of sucked the energy out of you. And don't worry. You can, you can work on that. Work on that. And this person, you may... So once you do that, if you want this person to come back and they haven't come back yet, you can very well manifest that. But the universe isn't going to orchestrate anything, help you orchestrate anything if you haven't dealt with your stuff. Your extra baggage that you should be carrying. Okay, so now it's a time to make a choice. Now it's time, Sagittarius. Sit down and make that choice. You have options. Sure, you can stay in your little pity party if you want. You can stay feeling trapped. The universe says, hey, you have free will. I'm not going to make you do anything. But I'm not going to bring you any of this. You know, not till you're ready. Right? The universe can have some tough love, I'll tell you. They're good for us, and they have our back, but oh, there's the Empress. Do you want to be the queen of the Empress? Or do you want to be somebody sitting in a room all by yourself, you know, eyes covered, arms wrapped, tied, stuck, stuck in an energy that doesn't need to be, you don't need to be stuck in. You can get yourself out of that. But, you know, you have to make a decision soon, because this is the... Seven to the Six of Cups is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is new love and self-love. And those go hand in hand. When you work through your stuff and you start feeling better about yourself and you start loving your own cup and start loving yourself and doing that Queen of Wands and Empress energy, nurturing yourself and, and, and healing those wounds that you may have and said, okay, that was the past, I'm ready for the future. The universe is going to say, all right, now we can bring in the person. Because Sagittarius has done her work. <laughs> right? Alright, we're going to do the Three of Swords. I may throw in... Oh, dude. Too many cards. There's like at least six there. I'd like to do the Six of Cups as well. No, I'm going to do the Three of Swords and then the Moon. I think the Moon is important here in your advice. Alright, so... This is your action. The Three of Swords... Like I said, what I'm hearing is for you to heal. I mean, this whole line is, is healed. And maybe this person makes you feel good. And their warmth and their positive energy is, is making you feel somewhat positive. So it may just wear, wear, you know what I mean? You may be feeling that energy, which is going to help you heal. You know, I, I don't know about you, but when I'm in a not-so-good mood... I mean, it depends on the bad mood, but when you're around people that are, have good vibes, you can't help but feel those good vibes. Yes! Yes! So you have the page, the knight, and the queen, Sagittarius. And we haven't finished yet. The king may show up here. You have all this core energy. Now, there may be other people involved, but you have all this, 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 
I'm saying I would say royal blood running through you, but with these three cards, you have the power to transform this. For God's sakes, you also have the magician card. You can take whatever situation you're in, and you can change it. So the Knight of Wands is then, once you realize, everything's going to just come flying to you. You're going to be there, sitting in your little throne, going, holy mother of pearl, I had no idea that it was going to be like this. I would have done this a long time ago. Temperance, patience, Sagittarius, and healing. Healing, balance. Oh my goodness. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's healing yourself. All right. And this card is, the Six of Pentacles is underneath. It's the giving, it could be the giving, give and take card, but I'm here giving the, give this connection a chance. That's what I just heard, so I'm going to tell you. And the moon, and I'm sorry this is that long. I don't know why these end up being so long. But I guess it's because, um, I mean, technically, uh, I guess this part was the part I was just going to do, but I added that part on because I felt like um, advice and actions i just wanted to add that on so it made it a little bit longer so i may revise this so it's not quite as long so but anyways if you do like these again subscribe join the tribe and smash that like button would you for me please would appreciate that all right come on the moon card the moon card for sagittarius i have a good feeling about this sagittarius so you know whatever negative energies you may feel say oh i know but holy mother of pearl now you got the queen of pentacles how much more power do you want here sagittarius <laughs> I mean, okay, you don't have a king here, but that's only because you haven't dealt with this. I'll bet you if you had already dealt with this, there would be kings all over the place in here. The Queen of Pentacles is a determined person. She's a very nurturing, loyal, patient person. But she knows that if she does the work that she needs to do, she will have this coin. She's worked hard for she, what she's at. No matter, she's had difficulties. She's worked through them and she's gotten herself to the queen level. You know, you, the Queen of the Wands and the Queen of Pentacles could have a conversation. Look at that power between the two of them. Look at the determination in the eyes. You know, she's got this, like, gold crown, and she's got, like, a tiara. But she's got a crown. This person's got a coin going, oh, I know my worth. And I want someone who's going to know my worth as well and treat me like the queen that I am. <sighs> okay, so in relation to the moon, um... Just because you don't see something clearly, just because you don't see something, doesn't mean what you're looking at, I don't know if this is going to make any sense, what you're looking at is exactly what you think it is. Um, you're getting bits and pieces. I don't know why, but I'm seeing these little flecks down here of the sun. I guess that's the sun. Sun beams or whatever. You're getting bits and pieces of it, but there's still a cloud. There's still darkness and when you work through this that's when you're going to get the full sun and that's your person does that make sense but you know the patience just wait for the darkness to lift because you know with night always comes the day and the sun always comes out so it, it means it's right now you just need to work through some stuff and once you do that sun your person and the light's going to come right too and then you're going to celebrate celebrate with friends have a good time maybe even have a um i don't know an engagement engagement party, maybe a wedding, bar shower, whatever. Just saying. Ten of Cups. Sagittarius. I mean, I can't even make these up. <laughs> this reading is gold. Okay, this reading is gold for you, Sagittarius. You know, I hope every, all the Sagittarius out there watch this. Please spare it, because Sagittar uh, Sagittarius, this is beautiful. This is a little harsh, but that's okay, because that's you can get through that, no problem. This is gold. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I'm so excited because you're the best reading I've had so far. <laughs> Some of the other readings I have are a little harsh. Um, this was great. Um, take it. Claim it. Take it. Step into your power. Claim this reading, Sagittarius, because this is your energy. You know, and you got the magician up there, too. You can have whatever you want. You can orchestrate and wave your wand. Sit on your throne. Wave your wand. There you go. As long as you do this work, though, it's not going to come unless you do that work. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Thank you again for, if you're still here in the video, kudos to you. Or if you stopped in the middle and you came back, kudos to you. Those people I know are the people who want to do the true self-worth, who stick through the video. 
And like I said, if you don't have time when you first see it or you first watch it, and for some reason you have to go to work or whatever, that's fine. Just save it and watch it later. You know, that's how I know though the people that want to to really learn about themselves and how to work through things, and they're going to manifest in their lives what they want. Those are the people that are going to they're getting the whole message. All right, thank you so much, Sagittarius. I will see you in the next one.